Hi guys, welcome back to Chemba's Entertainment. So the Love Island reunion has just finished. Um, I was waiting for and really excited for an hour and a half of drama and confrontations, and it didn't. It didn't really come. I'm a bit disappointed. I feel like there was so many situations there that could have been, um, it, you know, made to bring drama, and it wasn't. But we'll start off with Kaz and Tyler because they were the first couple shown. Um, they're official, adorable, so cute. I'm happy that I like the fact that Tyler did it, you know, when they're back home in their normal lives with their friends. And do you know what I mean? It just seemed a bit more genuine than those who did it in the villa. But yeah, um, that was really cute. Um, their reunion. Kaz looked amazing tonight. Got a new hair, looking nice. <laughs> but I'm not sure why they were finalists. Why they weren't given time on the sofa? Like to me, that's mad because everyone's been complaining that mm, we didn't get enough um, like TV times to see them, screen time. And our the reunion. They're the only finalists that didn't get time on the sofa. Um, that's bizarre to me. Whose idea was that? <laughs> that's stupid because it would have been so good to have them up there, Clarice up there. You know, um, Laura could have grilled Clarice about the things she's said in her interviews and social media, and she didn't. She just says, you know, how do you feel about them? Obviously, she's not going to say, oh no. So she just said, yeah, um, they look really close, and she didn't question her more, elaborate, go more into the situation. I was so disappointed. There was drama that could have been made there and it wasn't. And um, confrontation she could have put on Carice to get her point of view and it, it wasn't there. So, yeah, not really happy about the fact that they didn't get that, their time on the sofa. Um, obviously, Chloe and Toby did. Uh, which was nice to see, uh, at least. Um, and they brought Chloe, um, Toby's exes, Mary and Abby, and I didn't really see the point of that because we all know there's no drama anymore. Like, they were all friends afterwards in the villa. So it's like, time like that, you wasted when I mean, you could have been given us actual sticky situations put on the screen. But, yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, love Chloe and Toby. They're hilarious. They were laughing at Hugo, which was so funny when Laura was answering Hugo about his feelings for uh, Chloe. I obviously think he downplayed it. We all saw he was desperate to get her. He wanted her. And that's the reason he wasn't even feeling under these girls. And then even him, he got m more time on the sofa than Kaz and Tyler, which made no sense. Um, but it was definitely awkward. Oh, my God, when... All four of these girls were on the sofa with him. Um, I did want some more Amy drama between him and Amy because I know Amy can bring that. But I don't know, for some reason, they were all a bit chilled. It was just awkward, but there was no real drama. I feel like better questions could have been asked to spark that conversation. But overall, yeah. I mean, there's a couple of comments he said, which the girls weren't really um, happy with. And you can see in their faces. So we'll see what comes of that <laughs> after the show. Obviously, Jake didn't turn up. He's obviously hiding. <laughs> he obviously doesn't want to be grilled on TV about how he's not genuine. Because um, this guy has been everywhere. And all of a sudden, he's ill. I do not buy that one bit. But him and him and Libs meet up on our birthday, which was bad mind, by the way. Um, I'm not sure... It was pretty pointless. I'm just really shocked that Lib clearly still wanted him to fight for her, even when they went their separate ways. And I was like, girl, you did all this, you know, you said all this self-love stuff, you left with your head high. Why do you still want him to fight for you? And the thing is, he showed absolutely no interest, even on that little date thing, whatever you call it. He was still being him. And it shows that she's dodged a bullet. Jake never really had real feelings for her. And it shows, man, he's living his best life. I know he's come out and he's going to have girls in his DMs and he's going to these film premieres and stuff. Like, he doesn't even want to try with Liberty. So, no love lost there. 
But yeah, I do feel like in a lot of these scenarios, Laura really could have instigated situations. For example, Mary, um, why did she not push that with Aaron? Obviously, Mary kind of, it was very awkward, but Mary was kind of like, yeah, it it, it wasn't really going to go anywhere. And Aaron was like, it wasn't my choice. And at that moment, Laura should have been like, you know, elaborate, discuss it, like, and then they can both get what they want to say out in the open. And it just, there was just, I wanted so much more from the Mary and Aaron situation. So much more. Seen as, you know, she he said yesterday in an article, you know, she's ghosted him. and he, So, I don't know. I was disappointed in that as well. And of course, we have Faye and Teddy. I actually literally forgot them. Um, I saw not many people have impressed the fact that they had time on the, on the couch. <laughs> Um, I'm actually really glad because obviously I know Faye especially was not watching back on her brow because it's embarrassing and all this stuff. I'm glad that actually forced her there to watch it and you could see how cringe and embarrassed she was and how disgusting and how disgusted she was with how she acted. I'm really glad that they did show that um, and made it about that so she could see and get her response and obviously yeah I think she does regret it. She said herself she would have made a complaint, which means, you know, she's read the articles about Ofcon complaints and she's obviously very, very... It's a very sensitive topic for them as a couple, you can tell. Teddy's just being pathetic as usual. Because when asked about the um the fight and everything, he was like, it was just... It was, it just hurt to see her in pain. And it's like, it is not about her. We're asking you how you felt being shouted at. And it just, I don't know... I don't know, Teddy's just, you know, he's got, like, high simp behaviour coming from him. But we all know that by now. Um, yeah, so, other than that, though, I feel like a lot of people weren't really interested from, from the looks of Twitter to see what's going on with them. Everyone said they're boring and things like that. So, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens with them. Now, Millie and Liam and Lily, this was drama I was looking forward to once again. I was really excited to see the three of them um, together. And it just didn't do what it was supposed to be doing. Like, I obviously, I felt Lily was just... She didn't have the same energy she had when she was stormed into the Love Island villa. Like, she was very much um, like, yeah, no, I was rooting for them. I'm really happy for them. But, girl, we all saw the footage of your reaction when they won. And she was not even celebrating. <laughs> so I think she was just trying to be cute and you know not look bitter or anything like that but we wanted her to come with the heat we wanted her to like stick it on Liam because Liam's literally just gotten away with it all um by the way love Shannon for literally being like no he should not have taken it back she's real she should have been on she should have stayed on um, Love Island she would have been like a laugh and a real honest person but yeah Obviously, I think they seem, like, really happy together and things like that. And although it's embarrassing, I do yeah, I do feel like Millie was embarrassed. But she, you know, she's made a decision to stay with him and move forward. So that's what they're doing. So it's not really going to be a thing anymore now that, you know, Lily's confronted with them. But, yeah, I, I do feel like, once again, Laura could have really made that dog more deep in there um to get more from Lily so that was a bit disappointing because that was one of the most looked forward to confrontations going on there then we saw Dale and Abby I'm I'm so angry they're friends because they look so good I feel like if Dale wanted Abby uh she'd be all in but I feel like it's just him he's probably just enjoying his single life but they would be adorable absolutely adorable but yeah I mean other than that um yeah, I was. I wanted more from the reunion. I can't lie. I wish it was like American shows, where there's just so much confrontation. You've got a presenter who's just causing <laughs> loads of <laughs> arguments. It would have been fun, but yeah, this is the UK. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for more news and reviews.